Hey, Roberta, it's really great to see you again. Thanks for coming in. Hi, it's so nice to see you again, too. You know, I've been thinking about the suggestions that you've made to me last time to start some of the programs, and I really want to control my diabetes. I want to get back into shape and be healthier. So I'm interested in starting like a nutrition program. I'm really happy to hear that, and, and uh, I think that can make a great difference for controlling your diabetes. So let's, let's start to talk about that a little bit today. Can you uh, tell me a little bit about you know, what you normally eat um, in a week, and maybe a good place to start is, uh, if you remember, what you had for dinner last night. Um, you know, I have a big family, um, and last night we had my in-laws over, and um, a typical meal would involve like a lot of meat, some vegetables, rice, um, and soda for the kids, and dessert. Okay, um, and do you typically eat all of those things? Uh, you know, the soda, the rice, the meat, the vegetables? I do. I do, and normally my portion's about like maybe a bowl and a half of rice. Um, I like red meat a lot. Um, vegetables, and maybe a cup or two of soda. Okay, so let's, let's start there. A couple of things maybe that, that come to mind that, that, mm. that, that might help. Um, what kind of rice are you eating? Is it white rice or brown rice? White rice, it's, you know, the staple for Asian family. Well, so that's, if we start right there, like that's one thing that you could really make a difference with if you substituted white rice for brown rice. You know, the whole grains are just much healthier in general for us to eat, and particularly for somebody with diabetes. You want to try to stay away from the white rice if you can. Is that something that yeah. you think you could do? Well, you know, I grew up eating white rice, and, you know, um, it tastes better. Well, it, it, you know, it, I understand that it may taste better, but the brown rice is going to be so much better for your health and the health of the rest of your family. And for somebody living with diabetes, it's just so important. Do you think that you could maybe, uh, uh, you know, maybe you could volunteer to cook the rice and, and, and try substituting brown rice? I'm not so sure if I can convince my family to try brown rice. Well, you know, I don't, have, have, have they tried it? No. Well, you know, I, what I'm saying is I, I think it could really make a big difference and just kind of, you know, encouraging them to try it. Or maybe you cook in the brown rice. Well, I don't do the cooking in my family. You know, um, my, my mom usually does the cooking and she's usually the older generation. Like I said, we grew up eating white rice. So I'm not so sure if they're open to brown rice.